Rejuvenous. Yeah. Uh, Should it get you feel Listen, don't gentlemen, know. this is Moonox Communications. <laughs> it's Juvenous. Welcome back. We still have the hottest and the trendsetter, Alima Abubakar, right here at Juventus. Going privately, what's your plans for getting married at the moment? Because you're not saying about relationship, maybe you're in a relationship or not. So. A relationship is meant to be private. It's not something that you rub on people's face yeah. uh, before you know, you know, it crashes. Yeah. Even when you're having a secret relationship and you're trying to keep it out of the public, you find out that people still know your business. And they try so hard, you know, to make sure that they paint you black. So, I've gone through all that and uh, I'd rather keep my life extremely private. And if there's any vibe I was giving out that was bringing that, you know, attention, to me, I have done away with all that. So hopefully, I'll be able to concentrate and and uh, be happy in my relationship and uh, you know get to that extent of marriage. But um, you elders have to lay example, but really, uh, you know, encourage the younger ones, say beautiful things about marriage, make people want to get married. Because really, there's just too much negative stories about marriage that you'll be like, ah, you know, you just start thinking. But our parents got married and had us, so we have to get married. Usually when they ask me questions like this, I just tell them I don't want to get married. Because, you know, they keep asking and proving it does. So I just give them that reply. But it doesn't mean I won't get married. It just means... I want to be, you know, matured mentally to be able to tolerate. Um, I don't want to marry a man with a temper because I have a little bit of that. I'm working on it. So hopefully my future husband will be working on his own so that we can cohabit peacefully. So in one sentence, how would you describe the hot and tried setting I mean by the way? I'm an easy going person. If you know me. Easy going person if you know her. Yeah, I'm very easy. So what's your relationship with other actors? Oh, amazing. I I don't believe in animosity. I don't believe in you know undertone um, hating. I uh, I'm I'm a people's person and um, I want to believe I personally don't have problem with anyone. If while growing up I had problems with you, trust me, when I see you tomorrow I will hug you. If you push me away, I try, you know. She will hug you. I will hug you. I won't say hi to you. If you ignore me, fine, I'm the bigger person yeah. by, you know, starting the conversation. But I like to be peaceful with people I work with generally. Yeah. But you know, you everyone can love you. No matter how perfect you are. Of course. There will be somebody out there eyeing you and uh, spreading lies about you. But I have learned to ignore that. And even when I see them, I pretend not to hear it. You know, because if you, if you keep piling those things up, you'll bust one day. And I want to leave for as long as I want. My parents are alive, healthy, happy and all that. I don't want anything to um, take me back to the sad place. Because I used to be in the sad place. So there is absolutely nothing, anything. There is nothing anyone can do that can make me sad anymore. So I love everybody. Seriously. Okay. Just like every other profession, do you have old models or are there people you admire? Oh, yes, you know oh, yes, of course. Nationally or internationally? Internationally, I'm going to call a very brave woman. I love all her decisions. Everybody um, goes through a phase of rebellious, mm. rebellious nature um, in career, in personal life. I love every decision she's taken, Angelina Jolie. 
Wow. I love her so much. Um, she's an amazing soul. I think she's an example to a lot of people. If they will look to the positive side, she's a UN Peace Ambassador who has single-handedly taken over 19 crisis-ridden countries on her own. She flew her private jet on her own, and yeah, yes, Angela, on her mean, own, this. she flies, yes. and she goes, gives relief materials, console kits, adopt kits. Yeah. She has her own, she has her own biological kits, three, and she has adopted four. You know, and recently she had uh, a, a scare with cancer, and she had to take her uterus. She had to take everything out. She took her breast out. She's just like it is. It is. I don't know how many people can do that. That is a brave decision to do. That is very risky. And because she knows she has risk of you know having that uh, reoccurrence of cancer, she had to do all that. So people like that. They just have my heart forever, and there is nothing she can do that I will see as a fault. Nigeria, I love Joka Silva, Mrs. Joka Silva. She's so beautiful, well spoken. She she's just an amazing actress. I love her, and uh, of course I admire Rita Dominic for her calmness, and uh, of course for her fashion. I don't see anybody that has a style. I love her. I admire Amatola Lady Amatola Jola Day, the King Day, for being very, 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 very hardworking, very out there mother of fight. It's not easy. The woman is like a superwoman. You know, she's just like a moving train. She's doing everything, and um, it's not easy in an industry like ours and in a country like ours. She, she has undergone a lot of um, criticism and she's still going strong and um, she's an activist. I love what she's doing, just like I am. I know that um, that part of, of people is definitely an example to follow. Just like I have people who love what I do. I admire uh, what they do as well. I love Genevieve. She's a wonderful actress. She's um, she's very calm. I like her spirit. She's very calm. She's stress free. You know, I love a lot of people. For the male, I reach out with Pedamijo. It just has a presence. I love Mr. Olu Jacob for being there for me, for for advising me, for encouraging me. It's not easy to see people who encourage you in an industry. Olu Jacob is just the best. I love you, Kiran, for being my sister, my love. I love you so much. She has a wonderful heart. Um, to me, she's she's just one of the best in Hollywood. Who personally picks your phone and call and advises you on a regular. And I'm like, each time she calls, I'm like, I'm so sorry, I've not gone out. I'm a bad sister. She's a wonderful person, seriously. Wow. And um, yes, I, I, I'd like to emulate that part of her. She's very, very caring. forgiving and caring. And we're birthday mates, we're all Geminis. I'm meant to be like her, I don't know what's wrong with me. Too many things in my head. Let's see. Okay, so where do you see yourself in the next five years? Ah, that's a good sound. I don't, I don't, I don't procrastinate. I've done all that and so many things I said will happen, they happen. So I leave that in God's hands. Yes, so let's see. Okay, I see. Okay. Um, in all of this, what should the public expect from you next? I mean, oh. something you will Oh, definitely. Um, oof, I will have a lot of things going out to in our music, uh, the movies. We have, uh, though it's still um, our working title. I don't know if I will change it. The title of the movie that is about to hit the screen very soon, like next month, How I Was Raped. That's a working title. It is not the final title, so people don't get scared. Because a lot of people are like, House, House. I'm like, Calm down, it's just a movie, it's a title. It is prone to change. But I don't know, I might keep it. If the censors board are okay with it. Uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's an emotional movie. Uh, 
a mental abusive uh, uh, kind of story, which which goes with what's going on right now in, 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 in the world anyway. The abuse is just a lot. When we say rape, people assume it's sexually. We have so many other um, methods of abuse. It's not all about uh, sex. So the movie is not about sex. We need to watch it to know the kind of abuse that we are talking about and how we combat that title. And uh, we have TV series from my company that is going to come very soon. It's a language series in Hausa. And uh, we have the English version, but we've not started that. So these are some of the things, and of course the videos of Young is this uh, music. We're going to be promoted massively by the grace of God extremely soon. As soon as I clear my table, we're going to embark on national tour. And um, yeah, uh, we're starting with the universities and um, the secondary schools. Uh, yeah, because he needs to connect with his fans, and they're all young fans, so he needs to go and um, interact with them. So I have a lot of things. Um, and of course, I'm a published, um, people don't know that, I'm a published um, author and my book is going to come out very soon, yes, and uh, <laughs> Young Gizzy is actually a publisher too and a fashion designer, he has a model house magazine from University of Illinois uh, where he is school and uh, yeah, we have three editions already in the campus magazine. So, um, yeah, we're going to be pushing a lot of things. So, you see, all this consumes money. We need money. So, <laughs> watch out for all this. Halima Abubakar is still here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's just, it's unique, it's versatile, it envisions, it's newsy, it inspires, it suits, it's juvenile. A dual glossy magazine with educative and entertaining columns that report contemporary issues, events, tells about individuals who can inspire positively, showcases latest trends in fashion, and has an average print run of 10,000 copies every edition that circulates all around Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, London, and USA. Juvenes is published bi-monthly by Peanuts Communications Limited. For enquiries, event coverage or advert placement, call 0803-360-8271-0805-787-1199-0702-811-3638 or 0808-152-4499 or visit www.juvenis.punax.net Juvenis Magazine Inspiring the young at heart Welcome back, we still have the hottest and the trendsetter Halima Abubakar right here at Juvenis What are your favorite colors? Gold Wow Black of gold White Black of white uh, what, what about your food? I used to love pound with yam. Oh. And well, the first is telling us this. Yeah, <laughs> and vegetable with goat meat and fresh fish all together. But that's heavy. That's a lot of food. So since the diet thing and, you know, the watching of tummy, if not, I love food. I don't, but, you know, we have to <laughs> we have to stay sexy and healthy for you all. Um, so recently, I still love family yam, and um, not as often as I want. But I eat a lot of um, vegetable soup, of course, and um, fish. I love amala mm. and um, bean soup, my native soup. I love beans. <laughs> So what's about fashion? What do you like? I'm diverse. Mm -hmm. I'm very eccentric. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I rather set my own trend. I don't like following the crowd. 
I'll die if I see somebody wearing the same thing, you know, as me. I've seen that a lot of like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't follow, you know, because, you know, people overdo it when a certain trend is out and all that. And I tend to go overboard with it. So I don't follow any crowd at all. I just know I love fashion. Whether I get it right or wrong, there is bound to be mistakes. No one is perfect. I just, I just love it, you know. I love accessories. I love decorating myself with jewelry, you know. And I, it's funny that I'm not wearing rings, but my nails are all the designs, so I don't need to. I, I can see different colors on your. Yeah, it's not colors. It's it's details. Oh, it's okay. stones. Okay. Yes, it's stones. It's glass actually. It breaks. And you like tattoo as well. Yes, I do. I love decoration. Anything that would be to the body, I love it. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. Yeah, apart from the Sun City Awards, um, which other couple of awards you won and you want to tell you? I didn't win. I'm not a musician. Sun City Award is for uh, musicians. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've won a um, Hollywood Award in the UK in uh, 2011, 2012, yeah. I won um, City People Best Actress 2012. I won Global Excellence um, Best Actress Leadership Award. I've won, uh, I've won a lot of awards actually. My Best Actress Awards are uh, 13, Best Supporting I have 7, uh, I have uh, Honours over 11, so I have a gallery full of awards outside my library, and um, I've been honoured uh, with a lot of Ambassadoria Honours too, and um, I'm an Ambassador for Peace for United Nations Youth. Uh, I'm an ambassador for the Diabetic Association of the Federation. I'm an ambassador for FRCN. I'm an ambassador for uh, um, a lot of orphanages, a lot of organizations, non NGOs, and uh, yeah, I'm honored. It's it's definitely a feat for a young me. Uh, hopefully, I will do more and receive more honors and award. Thank you so much. So what's your advice for up and coming actors and actresses? You want to tell them? Yeah, they always think it's easy when they see me. <laughs> and um, they'll be like, because a lot of them didn't know that I started acting quite early. They thought I just came in, you know, four or five years ago. Because I was on a break for six years in Hollywood. Yeah. I didn't, I wasn't in Hollywood, I was in school, trying to complete school and get a degree. Um, it is not an easy industry and I want you to really take it serious if you want to act. You will face rejection. That one is certain. In fact, 60% of the time, you face rejection. You have to take it with your stride. You don't need to be angry about it. You don't need to beat yourself. You just need to keep struggling. If you're a producer or you're coming as a producer, well, you have an edge because you're producing your movie. But then you don't want to be in all your movies yeah. because you know that is not a good format for a new uh, artist. I'm not saying you can be an investor, you act, but don't always be the lead in your movie. You can get other actors, you can support. You want to act, you want to be seen, you want to showcase your talent. You truly need to know how to act. Acting is not a joke, people take it as a joke sometimes, and I get offended when I see things like that. When I watch movies and characters being given to people that are non-actors for sentimental grants, I'm like, what is she acting? And they gave her a wonderful role. It gets on me, you know, my last nerves. I don't like saying unprofessional actors. Yes, I'm a young actress talking because I'm an executive producer. I'm a producer now. I'm going to be a director in the future. I'm telling you the qualities of the actors that I want to work with. I might not be in all my movies, I don't need to be. That is not a good leadership to be, you know, in all your movies, no. But so far, you know, the movies that I've produced, yeah, I stayed in it because there is demand for it. If 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 a time comes when 
you know, people are getting tired of seeing me all over the place, of course I'll take a back seat and give other people a chance to shine. I can't shine forever. I've not started shining though. But um, yeah, you need to have a passion for it. You need to be very responsible because it's an industry where we have over a million people. You need to have responsibility as your four front foot marks. That's the only way you can survive because you're going to meet a lot of wrong people before you meet the right ones. So I don't want you to make mistakes. And um, yeah, you're going to meet a lot of no's before yes. Don't take it personal. Everybody has what they are looking for in an artist. I've been rejected a lot of times. I'm friends with those people who rejected me. I still have not worked with them. But I still talk to them because I'm human. You know. But when you don't give them your own movie to direct, they get upset. I don't see it as I'm just like, okay, you didn't come to my mind, just the way I, you know. It's not a uh, do me, I do you thing. The truth is that there are just a lot of people in this industry. When you're making waves, there is no way you'll be ignored. If you're ignored, just know that they don't want to give you that role. Don't take it personal. Um, what else? You need to live a very responsible life because the truth is that that's the only way you have longevity. Without that, if, if, if you come with, you know, your own method of lifestyle, we might not understand it. <laughs> it might take us a while to understand it, but you just need to know the kind of people you're coming to meet. Uh, Nigerians are not ready for a lot of stuff, so if you're doing uh, these stated um, characters, you need to turn it down when you're coming to Nollywood. You need to keep it actually as a private life. You don't need to come out and show it to us. We're not ready for all that yet. We're ready to see talent. We're ready to see you act. We're ready to see you be responsible. We're ready to see you take responsibility for all your actions. Don't say this person was the one that made me do it. You knew what you're doing. So we want you to. The new generation of producers that we're having are actually quite tough. I sound tough, you know, because we need growth. We don't need mediocre. We we have a lot of we have a lot of that already, so um, we're trying to you know step up the new producers, the new generation of actors, the new generation of executive producers want quality, uh, substance. We don't need quantity. I definitely do not want that. I don't want flash in the pan kind of people. I don't want glamorous girls because they're cute. No 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 no. I want you to know how to act. I want you to have something here while having all that. Uh, having said all that, hopefully you don't take offense, but that's the truth. Nobody will tell you that. I'm known to actually just say it the way it is. I don't like to sugarcoat it because nobody advised me. Nobody, I didn't have people to guide me. But I just had to take the right measures, you know, because like, I want to be alive. I want to, I want to act more movies. So. You know, basically that's it. I want you to do more than I've done, and I don't want you to make mistakes. That's why I'm advising you. And then get quality education. It is the best. Education is life. If you don't get educated, sorry, Nollywood is not for you. The Nollywood that we're going into right now need education. So be ready for that. Don't say, oh, after all you started going in secondary school. Yes, I did. But can you act as a nine-year-old now? If you can, then we're ready for you. Well, if not, please wait until you're ready. Absolutely, you know, you, you look at movies and be like crappy movies, not that they act. My darling, it is not easy. So be prepared. So finally, what do you have to say to your fans and others watching this interview? I hope you, uh, <laughs> I'm sure they will be like, this guy can't talk. Yes, I make sense most of the time when I'm talking. I don't talk for fun. And um, I love you all for the support. It is not easy for someone like me to come into an industry filled with different personalities, filled with different races, filled with different um, tribes to make it. I don't know if I've made it yet, but I am honored where I am right now, the feats that I've achieved. 
a lot of my seniors have not done that. But it is you who made it so. Yeah. Kudos to you fans. Thank you so much. Yeah. I have massive fan base that is amazing sometimes too. The love they have for me. Some of them come out wrongly to express it, but it's okay, I understand. You know, I don't take it personal. And if um, I have reacted a bit sometimes, maybe I'm hungry. You know when you're hungry, you can just lash out. But trust me, uh, I love it. I'm Ambassador Halima Abubakar. Keep watching Japanese TV and keep buying Japanese magazine. I am going to be on the next edition, so you have to read it. And other subsequent edition, of course. Thank you so much. Juvenes is published bi-monthly by Pinox Communications Limited. For inquiries, event coverage or advert placement, call 0803-360-8271-0805-787-1199-0702-811-3638 or 0808-152-4499. Or visit www.juvenis.punux.net. Juvenis Magazine. Inspiring the young at heart.